Hi, my name's Derek Shirley, host of Words with the Obsidian Awards, and that's www.obsidianawards.ca, which is coming up this fall in 2016. Now today, this week, I'm here with Cheryl Fogo, and Cheryl, it, Cheryl is an author, she's a playwright, and she's a filmmaker. She has a real love for black history, specifically here in Alberta. And she's written and co-produced John Ware Reimagined, which is an award-winning show, which I saw, which I absolutely loved. Um, she's also writing another book right now, a novel, and the novels, the, it's just, uh, I'll tell you the good things first, and you're working on a full-length documentary um, on John Weir. And you're also a first-time grandmother. Congratulations for that. Thank you. And, uh, and shout out to Chandra and, and John, congratulations to you too as well. Um, so the first question I have for you, and thank you for, for sitting down with us today. The first question I have for you, um, Cheryl, is about excellence. And I want to know, what does excellence mean to you? Okay. Well, thank you, first of all, for inviting me to be here. I think of excellence as um, a package that a person has put together when they've made use of the different kinds of gifts that we, we get. The gifts we're born with, you know, so are kind of innate talents and abilities. And the gifts that we get from others, which is our coaching and our nurturing. And be aware of all those different kinds of gifts and put them together. It's almost inevitable that we will achieve excellence in whatever field we apply those gifts to. So, um, you know, athletes can do it, and, and artists can do it, and business people can do it. Anybody can achieve excellence if you, if you think about all those things. What are the gifts you were born with? What are the gifts other people gave you? And what are the gifts you can bring? What are the gifts you can give yourself? To, to bring those together. So I, I define excellence as um, putting those together. So I don't have a, I don't have a benchmark where I say, um, you know, 10 good reviews for a play makes, means it's excellent or anything like that. I think it's when all of those things come together to create the magic that is excellence. So when I, you know, just for just grabbing an example out of thin air, um, when I think about putting on a play, your audience response is a part of that. That helps you to know that it's excellent because you've reached the people that you intended to reach. And um, the, the experience of the performers within it, your experience of connection to the audience. Um, there, you know, there are different ways of measuring excellence for different projects. But I think it's, it's possible to achieve excellence when you when you put all those different gifts together. Wonderful, thank you. What I'm curious about is what happens for you on a, on a daily basis? What's your daily routine? Okay, well on a perfect day, I start with breakfast with my husband and then I have my first cup of tea at about 9.15, 9.30. Um, I answer emails, I send out queries about projects I'm gonna be doing later in the year. And then I get to work on whatever book or film I'm working on, whatever writing project, around about 10. Break at around 1 for lunch, go out for a walk after lunch, get back to it around 2.30, work until supper time. After supper, I devote to family and friends. And then if I'm really passionate about something, I might go back to work for another hour or two around about 10 p.m. That's my day. Mm. Thank you. So you have the, uh, I mean, your day is, is very structured, yet you could do anything to it, but you're very, very disciplined throughout the day. I, I really appreciate that. I try to be. <laughs> now, the, the last question I have for you um, is about, I mean, you've done so much, you've achieved so much in your, in your work, and you're still, there's so much more that you're doing. Um, what would be one word of advice that you would have for the viewers uh, around achieving excellence in their life? I think the world can intrude upon your definition of what excellence is for you by sending you negative messages of one kind or another. I think it's really important for people in our community to fully understand who, who you are as an individual, where you've come from, 
All of the different factors, all of the different social and political factors that have gone into creating the world that you live in and you yourself. Um, sometimes barriers that we face or insecurities that we have come not from anything that we've done but from external forces that um, that are intrusive but absolutely we must not let define us mm -hmm. so i think my advice would be to to seek out that knowledge of who you are and where you've come from and to always keep that as your bedrock because you need to be able to fend off the slings and arrows that, uh, that the outside world will, will, um, will send your way. You have to remain confident and secure and believe in what you're doing, believe that the thing that you're doing has significance, no matter what the outside world is telling you about that. Thank you so much. Normally I kind of paraphrase um, that last segment, but you've said it so beautifully, so I'll encourage the viewers to play back the video and listen to that those words again a few times and let them sink in. I'll probably do the same myself. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for, for uh, visiting us with today. Uh, I'm Derek Shirley I'm here with the words with the Obsidian Awards, which is coming up in the fall. We also have the voting is, is now available. Just go to our website, www.obsidianawards.ca, and you can also check us out on our Facebook page and vote for your community leaders and also tune in next week because we're going to be interviewing somebody else and we'll thank you very much again for you cheryl and thank you to our film crew and we'll see you next week take care <laughs>